Hi there. My name is Bobby Newport, and this is Transformation Impossible. I help companies transform their organizations through lean culture change. Lean is about creating a culture of continuous improvement and respect for people. This results in a company that delivers high-quality products and services on time and at lower cost. Irvine Industries has been attempting to become lean and operationally efficient for several years with little success. They've fallen on hard times, and now they have turned to me for help. Let's go inside and find out what's going on. Good morning. My name is Bobby Newport, and I'm here to meet with the owners. Excellent. They're ready for you in the executive conference room to your left. Thanks for the coffee. Now, let's get down to business. Tell me your story. What's been going on here at Irvine Industries? Hi Bobby, my name is Ted, and this is my business partner Marcy. We've been in business for over 20 years. As you know, we are a major supplier to the medical device industry. With increased competition and supply chain and labor challenges of late, we have been struggling to survive. Our customers are pressuring us because we're consistently late. Our employees are unhappy, and our suppliers aren't performing well. We're under constant stress, and we didn't know who else to turn to. So we called Transformation Impossible. Can you help us? Thanks, Ted. That sounds like a lot of company struggles. Now, it says in my notes that you've been practicing lean manufacturing for years. Is this correct? Bobby, let me start off by saying I'm a huge fan of your show. Now, let me tell you what we've been doing with Lean. Several years ago, we did some 5S events in our assembly areas. But, within a few months, things kind of went back to what they were before. We brought in some Lean Six Sigma training for our engineers. We had a couple of successes, but everyone who has been trained has left the company. We did some value stream mapping with very little to show for it other than wallpaper. We just don't seem to get improvements done. And when we do, they don't seem to stick. I've heard this song many times before. I've looked at some of your key indicators before coming here, and it's obvious you have problems with lead time, inventory shortages, and overages, your costs are out of control, and your on-time delivery has gone to hell in a hand basket. We surveyed your employees earlier this month, and they are completely disgruntled. Your employee turnover will continue to be sky high. You make it sound so dire. So what can we do to fix it? Well, we've got a lot of work to do. First of all, we need to start changing the culture. In order to successfully turn this company around, we need a culture of continuous improvement and respect for people. I'd like to speak to all of your employees and explain the plan. Then, I'm going to bring my Kaizen facilitator Karina in here. She's going to start by working with some key team members on multiple Kaizen activities to start teaching them how to improve. We're going to make Irvine Industries into a place where people want to work with products that customers want to buy. Let's do it. Welcome everyone. You're probably wondering why I'm up here. My name is Bobby Newport, and I'm here to help you transform this company into a great place to work. I've just met with Ted and Marcy, and I've reviewed the employee survey results along with some other numbers. The bad news is, this company is in trouble. It's in trouble financially, customers aren't happy, employees certainly aren't happy, and the numbers only reflect that reality. I've told Ted and Marcy that we need to change the culture. You've probably heard about Lean, 5S, Kanban, and all the buzzwords. And, they're fine. But that's not what lean and continuous improvement is all about. Applying tools to a broken culture won't cut it. Changing culture is key. In order to make this company better, we need everyone working together to make it better. In order to do that, it's management's job to create an environment in which the team members can make things better. I'm going to be working with Marcy and Ted and some of the key managers. They're going to learn that the most important job of leadership is to make sure their team members have everything they need to succeed. Soon, you're going to meet Karina, who will start working with you on Kaizen. You're going to need to learn the process for making things better, and you can only learn by practicing. 
This week, we're going to get everyone engaged in improvement, but this is only the beginning. Kaizen must become a way of life if we are to succeed. It can't all be done within a week. It's going to take much longer, but today marks the beginning of a journey. Let's take this on and make Irvine Industries a great place to work.